All right, to monitor Subnautica through Nexus, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is head to the Nexus website. So here we are at the Subnautica Nexus Mods and Community website. You're just gonna head here, because this is where you're gonna get all your mods from. But there are two mods that you're gonna want at the very start. So those two mods are going to be the Toby's Beppin X Pack for Subnautica. And then you're also gonna want Nautilus, because you used to need the sml helper the modding helper but because they updated nautilus you don't actually need both the sml helper and nautilus so you just need this one unless you're using the legacy branch for Subnautica, then you'll need the sml helper but i'm not using it so we're not uh you know going over that forgot to mention but whenever you do download your um Bepinex and your nautilus and any mod from uh nexus you're gonna want to hit manual install like you're gonna go to the file section you're gonna hit manual install because you don't want to do the mod manager download because we're not using a mod manager in this video we're just doing manual drag and drop into your Subnautica thingy so just make sure you do the manual download all right so once you have both of those mods installed you're gonna head over to your steam you're gonna go to Subnautica and then you're gonna click on the little gear icon and the right on the right hand side which is gonna say manage and then right here you're gonna see another manage thingy you're going to go down to this and then you're going to hit browse local files so once you hit browse local files you should see all of your subnautica files it, look, it should look something like this i have a few um like reshaders and stuff that i forgot to take off so i have a few extra folders here but yours may look a little bit smaller than mine but it should look something like this overall so once you're here just leave this little tab open because we're going to come back to this so the next thing you're going to want to do is get your befinex and nautilus installed into your actual subnautica so you're going to do that by heading over to your downloads or wherever you downloaded your files to so as we can see, I have my Bepinex pack right here. We got Nautilus right here. You're going to want to download Bepinex first. So the first thing you're going to do is click on your Bepinex. It should be like a little compressed zip folder. So you're just going to click on this and then you're going to copy everything in here like so. You can either copy it or you can just drag it to the folder. It doesn't really matter which one you do. I'm going to drag it just because. So we're going to copy it to our Subnautica files right here. All right, so as we can see, Bepinex is now installed in here. So now I'm going to refresh and it should send it to the top. So now that we have our Bepinex installed, we can open it and we can see we have plugins, patches, core, and configuration. The main thing you'll be putting your mods in is plugins. Unless unless you see a mod that specifically tells you to put it anywhere else, the majority of your mods are going to go in the plugins section. So now that we have Bepinex installed, we're going to head back to our Nautilus folder and we're going to see it's right here and whatnot. So we're going to click on this and it's going to have this little folder that says plugins. So you're going to take this folder Order, and you're going to drag it into BevanX. You're going to copy it on the side and it'll automatically go into the plugin section and then we have Nautilus right here. So now we officially have our Nautilus and BevanX installed which are the two main things that we need to actually get our mods to work and whatnot. So now that we have that we can go back to Nexus and we're going to download just a random mod it doesn't really matter which one so here we have the phantom submarine mod it's a nice little vehicle mod i covered it in one of my other videos so we're going to head to our file section and then we're going to go to manual download and then we're going to see that it requires nautilus we already have nautilus installed we already have bevanex installed but we need to install the vehicle framework so all we're going to do is we're going to open it in a new tab and again nautilus and bevanex is going to require both of those so you just download the vehicle framework mod and then you download the phantom submarine mod all right so now we have our phantom submarine downloaded and we have the vehicle framework downloaded so now we're just going to click on the phantom sub and as we can see this one does not have a like file path to the plugin section so all we're going to do is we are going to take this we're going to go into bevanex go to plugins and we're going to put this right here Typically, whenever you click on the mods, if it just shows like the name of the mod or something of that general nature, you're just going to drag it straight into the plugins, especially when it comes to like the vehicles. So the vehicles typically you always put in the plugin section unless the mod says otherwise. So just keep that in mind. And then we have the vehicle framework. Same thing with the vehicle framework, because it just says like the you know regular name of the mod. All we're going to do is drag it into the plugin section. All right, now we have the Phantom Sub, Nautilus, and Vehicle Framework all in this little plugin folder right here. So with all those installed, now we're gonna boot up our Subnautica and we're gonna see if the mod's actually installed properly. All right, now that we've booted up our Subnautica, we can also see that if we head to the Options section, we can see at the very bottom, we have Mods right here, the little Mod section, and then we can see our Mod, or I was gonna say our Modulus, our Nautilus installed correctly, and then we also have the Vehicle Framework right here, flashing lights, blah, 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 blah. All right, so after installing all of our mods and stuff, when we open this mobile vehicle bay, we should be able to see the Phantom Submarine in here. So when we click on Vehicles, and there it is right there. The Phantom is a medium-sized submarine designed to navigate dangerous territory. And we can see it's a part of the vehicle framework thingy majiggy. You're going to want to be careful when you're downloading some mods though, because some mods 
may be a little bit older because there's a lot of mods on the nexus that are like super old a part of the legacy branch or just haven't been updated in a really long time so they could potentially cause some issues with their game like the other day i had a mod installed but there was a mod that was like preventing me from booting up my entire game because every time i would try to load my game up i just get stuck on the loading screen so just be careful with what mods you're installing make sure you look at you know like the date of the mods when they were created when they were last updated and all that if it hasn't been updated if it doesn't say it's been updated recently then chances are that mod is either going to break your game cause your game to crash or you know some other bull crap that's going to turn into a headache do keep in mind that all mods are not going to be like super simple to download and by that i mean like you're still going to do the same simple process of you know dragging and dropping them into the bevanex folder and all that so but some mods are going to require, especially like mods that add a whole bunch of stuff to the game. Those mods, those bigger mods may have a lot of extra requirement because whenever you click on certain mods, they may have, you may have to download a few other mods to make other mods work. So just keep that in mind. Make sure you read the installation instructions for a lot of the mods because they will tell you, spec they'll specify where the mods need to go specifically, just in case, you know, a mod needs to go into like a config folder or something, something different other than the plugins folder that you're going to be placing most of your mods in. So just make sure you're looking at the instructions whenever you're downloading a lot of your mods so you know where to actually put them so they all work properly. I apologize if you use Vortex or any other way because I didn't really show how to do those because I, <laughs> I'm i not really sure how to mod the game through those manners because I don't use them. I just find doing it through Nexus the manual way is the simplest and easiest way to mod my Subnautica game. So yeah, that is how you mod your Subnautica through Nexus. If you have any other questions, run into any issues, feel free to let me know in the comments and I will do my best to help you through everything. So other than that, that is about all I have for y'all. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.